Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, original six. From 1917 to 1942, the NHL had anywhere from three to ten teams. But then there was that magical era we look back on from 42 to 67 called original six. What do you think? Well, the heart of the National Hockey League original six teams, Doc, and I had the great pleasure of my in my hockey career to play on three of the original six teams, and there comes a great pride, and you're very proud to wear those original six colors. Charis embraced that tradition and history and looking for a big game here tonight against an original six foe. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. Tukaras, grandson of a local team goalie in his native Finland, but has a Stanley Cup and an Olympic medal with lots more in front of him. Anderson's the last line of defense for the Maple Leafs. Terrific action lies ahead. Bergeron's got the assignment on winning the opening draw for the Bruins. Matthews gets the same job for the Maple Leafs. And he steps across the line. Two guys together with force, big force. Well, we expected a physical game, Doc, and it looks like he's on a mission trying to set the tone for his team early in the first period. Can't get a shot on it. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. The Leafs are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Boston's power play opportunity number is one. This one, the first one. They only get one chance to make a good first impression. See if they do. Pitching this one to Moore. He's in on an onside play. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with a trapper won. Man, oh man, what a hit. Good thing the boards are there. Toronto's got two for charging. All this player has to do, Doc, is not skate through the hit. Glide a little bit before you make contact with the attacking player. Boston special teams have been special. Let's see if they come up big here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's not short. Oh, did he ever get mashed? Save! And the possession taken by David Backus. Can he send it out? Routine play, done well. Passing one off now to Krejci. That's the way to make him pay. Rasps at the bench, six attackers now. One into another. He's in! Score! What a great early start for the home squad. So sometimes you just get so lucky. He's not shooting the puck there. And the goaltender's fooled as the puck doesn't come with any velocity at all. Boston's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. The Leafs wheel it up the wing. Let's it go. Score! And this one is tied. The lane was open to wrist the puck towards the net, and somehow it beat the goaltender. Wow, Edzo, this is a cannon of a shot. The goaltender stops most of it, but it's too powerful, and it works its way in. Just over four minutes skated here in the first. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. Boston's come up big on another faceoff. Oh, and he is drilled. Bergeron's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They clearly got the target on him. He caught it, and he holds on. Enormous collision. That is a huge hit. Knocked right down to a knee, and it's loose. Using the point. On to Marchand. Cranks one. Got that. Tremendous scoring chance. Boy, he really had to battle through to see that screenshot. Good bad save. And another save. Mark him down for one more. 
the Leafs coaching staff is ticked off. Long penalty kill. They gave up a lot. Well, they had some success earlier in the game, guys. The power play there wasn't very good. They had a little bit of trouble getting into the zone, certainly trouble getting pucks to the front of the net. A terrific scoring chance denied. Picks it up in his own end. Good solid defensive play there. Muscled right off it. Cleared back out. This will force him to drop back a lot. Cleared back down the ice, and yes, it's icing, and the faceoff will come back. Anderson's athleticism and net was really put to test on that last quality opportunity. I still have no idea how he stopped that, Doc. Clean win on the draw. Toronto's got possession in the defensive zone. With a strong wrist shot. Terrific shot, but a save. Nash, enormous hit. He is shut right off. Terrific determination by David Backus. Loose puck, solid defensive play there. Good work with the stick. Laid on to Nash. Good centering pass to the slot. Wonderful wrist shot. Terrific pad save. Oh, that was a great chance. Chip to Kadri. Right near the line. Can he keep it going? Penalty call coming. Watch for his signal here. The Maple Leafs get a minor for interference. You got to play with controlled emotion. You can't run around and hit everybody, especially when they don't have the puck. The Bruins get another power play. There is confidence here because they've been good. Let's see what happens this time. Beat him on that one. He's got that point pass. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Unfortunately, the puck carrier there knows he's in a hockey game. Wow, what a collision. Slaps it to Marshan. Great save. Great focus. What was that? And another save. I thought the second was the toughest. Gets across. Looks over his options. Terrific glove save. Boston's up the wing, setting things up. Pass attempt to Bergeron. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. His way to make an impact on the game is with the body. He came in trying to be as physical as possible. There hasn't been a shift. You haven't noticed them yet. Boston's power play still needs some work, even though they've scored one. I'm not so sure the penalty killers are looking for more work here. It's penalty after penalty after penalty. It's really quite miraculous. They haven't given up more than they have. Marshan's been caught with a fist. Big pad save. Toronto's got it and moving up the wing. Looking for a better lane. Didn't get through. A shot off his helmet mask. Dominance right now. Puck picked off. Near the last minute of the first. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Toronto's in their own end and in control of the puck. Oh, broke it up. Boston's got some time left if things work perfectly. Wonderful play by the defense. And he hammers one. First period done. Two goals scored. One aside. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website. Voted on by you, our fans. Toronto's goal, this goal, got this game tied again. What will happen next? We'll see when we return right after this.
puck dropped, and we are underway in the second period of this tie game. And he is reefed. Matthews with the big hit, guys. He's a skilled player, of course, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. Great job slipping on by. Oh, wonderful play. Went to the backhand. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Looking to Pasternak. Wonderful block. What a hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Oh, Pocek saved one there. Snapping a pass to Matthews. He gains the zone. Missed. He doesn't miss it by much. He's right in the middle of the ice. He tries to bang it in off the goalpost and just misses. Oh, and he's hammered. Better get your head up. That's a solid hit that he had to take there. Off target. Nap by Gardner. Directing that one to Matthews. Up the wing and moving well. Fires a shot. Outstanding glove save. You can't run around looking for big hits like this. These come right into your lap. Just under six minutes gone in this period. We are at one goal apiece. The Leafs win it. Terrific glove save, but it's loose. A whistle and a rest. Rast's butterfly positioning is perfect here. He's going to make that save all day. Good job on the draw. He's got it on his stick. He wants to clear it out of the zone. And he's hammered. Angles. Two guys together with force. Big force. Puck is thrown to Komarov. Wrist shot. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. The Bruins with a clean win on the draw. And he shoots wide of the net. Oh, that was oh so close off the one-timer. Lost that puck. He was knocked down to the knee. Gains the zone and looks over his options. And possession reestablished by David Backus. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. If you're going to score in a 2 on 1, guys, you've got to attack much quicker than that. Easy save. Defensive zone win. Toronto's leaving its own end. Flings it. Didn't miss by much. Shooting. Smart recovery by Nash. Oh, that's another. What a save. Seemingly had no chance. Van Riemsdyk's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down, and he steps up for a huge hit. Solid, clean win. Grabbed by David Backus. A shot. The glove like lightning. Oh, did he ever get matched? You want to be into a game, hit or be hit. Martin sent to the box. Two minutes for boarding. As you see the player facing the board, you cannot make contact with that player while he has no chance to protect himself. Two minute for boarding. A power play that can generate goals is special. And this one has been. Let's see if it continues. Number 15, Matt Martin, two minutes for Toronto's boarding. lugging it along in neutral ice. That hit somebody. 
A shot. Oh, what a stop. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Pitching it to Bergeron. The Bruins wheel one ahead up the wing. Can he generate something from there? One into another. I'd say this game is played out pretty much according to plan. Glove. That was all positioning right into his glove. Oh, and he is drilled. Spooner's nicked up here. Guys, he's going to have to finish this shift. They're stuck in their own zone. Toronto's minor is for charging. Well, too many strides taking while making contact and getting the minor penalty. The Bruins get a two-man advantage. It's not a long one, but it might be enough. The Maple Leafs with a face-off win. Toronto starting from their own zone. And the Heat's taken off by the clear. Moving it to Bacchus. Gets in, looks over his options here. Big hit, possession gone. Up the wing still with possession. Let's it go. Score! A shorthanded goal yet again. Komarov's wrist shot was heavy and quick. And so the goalie must think that he's going to make this stop. He's in perfect position. He's covered most of the net. If it hits the crossbar and goes in, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. The Leafs haven't had the puck too much, but they had it enough to get that lead. A bit over five minutes still showing on the clock this period. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. Puck loose, he couldn't get by. Nice stand-up poke check there. Looks ahead to start something. Enormous collision. The game is picked up physically, Doc. That is a solid hit. That sends a message. The Maple Leafs have gotten to the neutral zone. Toronto's penalty kill is done. Good performance by them tonight. Sometimes you need a pop. Sometimes you need a puck bounce. Or you need a little bit of puck luck. They didn't get any of it on that power play. And they come back to even strength in the same position that they were when they entered the power play. Down one. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Nice face-off work. Enormous hit. Great poke check. Puck covered, whistle blown. Toronto's leading this game because they've been so aggressive. They've not given their opponent any room to create anything with the puck. The Maple Leafs prevailing on the faceoff. Puck covered, whistle blown. Clean win on the draw. The Bruins up the wing, lug the puck. Perfect passing right through center. Gains the zone. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Has it in his own end. In the second period. Toronto's moving the puck up the wing. Deflected off the blocker. Good block, and puck possession comes from that. Trying to go to Chara. Oh, and he is corked yet again. He is shut right off. I saw that one coming from a mile away. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Let's take a look at the two period shots on goal totals. They are whopping 24 for Toronto and 13 for the Bruins. With great views. Komarov's goal was pretty good, but is it the difference maker? It is for right now. We had to break.
third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edza. The Maple Leafs have to be happy, Doc, that they're up by one as we get ready for the third period, but they have to be frustrated with all the chances that they had in the first two periods of play. The Bruins are skating it back in their own end. And he is reefed. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Good shooting place. Just missed the net with that one. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Chappelle to Chara. Marshawn's shaken up, Doc. That was a bone rattler. Guys, bone jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. Marshawn's gone from the bench. It looks like a wrist or hand injury. He's gone down to the dressing room for evaluation. Just under three minutes have passed. Toronto's up by the narrowest of margins, two to one. Gets in, what'll he do? Oh, what a break, that shot hit somebody. Wow, he slowed him right down there. Up the wing and still with it. What a hit. I saw him coming just at the last minute, he's able to spin off, but that's a big hit. Snapped out of the air. Boston's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Huge hit, possession's gone. Save. Now it's directed to Bergeron. Oh, and he's hammered. Two guys together with force. Big force. And the puck is grabbed by Patrice Bergeron. And he's hammered. Got it in his own end. Very effective defensive play. Oh, did he ever get mashed. The Leafs want to generate something up the wing. Good, solid poke check there. The puck is fielded now by Gardner. Slid to Bacchus. Gains the zone. Carried to the corner by Krejci. Feeds the point. The Leafs control the play in their own end. On to Marlowe. And he steps in. Good save! Picks it up back there. Puck covered, whistle blown. Guys, bold jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Boston's gonna have to finish this one out shorthanded. They're down a man on the bench and the injured player will not return. Marvelous control, he kept it in. Got his glove on that one. Snaps a wrister. Outstanding save with the glove. Raz gonna be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Maple Leafs win it. Outstanding save made off a terrific chance. The Bruins have been relying on their goaltender way too much. He's had an excellent night and kept them very close to this game. Boom! What a great open ice hit. Even when the puck's on your stick, you better know where everybody is on the ice. Laid on. Masterful save of an overwhelming one-time shot. And we get a penalty here. The referee strides over to hand it out. The Maple Leafs get a two-minute minor here because the goalie handled the puck out of the trapezoid. I understand the spirit of the rule to try to create more offense and keep goaltenders in their crease, but unfortunately, it's penalized some of the better puck-handling goaltenders in the league from handling the puck. The Bruins get another power play opportunity. Their percentage has not been good, but boy, it's an important time for them here. Points it. A ripper from the point. Oh, does he have a target on his back? Centering pass. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. 
just why that shot cannot miss that give me that chance i'll take it oh that's more than your normal rub out off his glove hangs on to that one and he'll see a face off right here Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. That's the way to make him pay. You don't take a knee in hockey, just football. He lost it. Toronto's power play has served them well in this game, just not this time, and this is when they needed it. Some power plays have a great percentage but they don't take advantage when the game's on the line. And there's a little bit of an example of a team that had a chance. Got a piece of it with the glove. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Foul went again. Usually when you see shoving and pushing after a whistle, it leads up to something bigger, and I mean a lot bigger. Punch ends this one, and the star is stunned. I think his teammates were stunned, Doc, because he was involved in that fight. Oh, that was a grueling scrap. They're going to get a chance to rest for five minutes. Let's see what happens. A five-minute major. A long score, and the game is even. Uh, he worked himself into a good scoring area and let it go on the backhand. He barely slowed this down. It deflected off of him into the net. Toronto's got another face-off win. Tries to get it on net. Outstanding work with the glove. Time of the goal. 18 minutes, 54 seconds. This next face-off is the largest one this game has seen. And they've won that draw. Headed to a wild finish. Game even. Fans screaming. Some of them hoarse, I'll bet. Let's it go. Ooh, stick save. One into another. After he picks himself up, he's got to go get his helmet. It's spinning on the ice like a top. Oh, and he is drilled. Very little power as he glides back to the bench after being on the receiving end of that hit. Right in front. Just threw it into his pad there. Toronto's up the wing settling things. Shot that puck so hard, I only saw it when it finally came back out of the net. Now the goalie's in good position, Eddie, but you shoot it like that, you're not gonna stop it. The Leafs have broken the tie here in the third period. So what will be their philosophy now? We'll probably see it from this opening faceoff. Toronto goal, scored by number 11. Zach Pitching Hyden. this one to Bergeron. By number three. Travis Drives to the net. Wonderful stop. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Good, strong work. Icing is canceled. The horn sounds an exciting finish to this game. The Bruins, on a night in which referees had their arms up a lot, have lost. Well, they need to work on their power play. Plenty of opportunities, but a lot of the shots that they had were very easy for the goaltender. Terrific contest. Two teams gave their very best. See you next time.